Far Limited has announced that it's joined forces with Sinook, the global Chinese oil company, in a long-term strategic partnership to look for and expand its asset portfolio in the Mauritania, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau basin off the west coast of Africa. This area is rapidly becoming one of the world's oil exploration hotspots and FAR has a prime position in the basin. FAR Limited Managing Director Kath Norman is with me today to tell us more about the AMI. We've known the CNOOC team out of London and out of Beijing for a couple of years now and we feel there's a good fit between our two exploration teams and the objectives of the two companies are very similar in wanting to capture some exploration projects in the MSGB basin and to take advantage of the fact that uh, FAR has got the political and experience in the area and CNOOC has obviously the clout to bring to bear in any bidding situation. What benefits do you see for FAR from this partnership and what value can shareholders expect to get from this partnership? Oh, it's very clear that we have hot competition for open acreage at the moment and FAR on its own today unfortunately would probably not be able to be awarded blocks in competition with some of the world's majors in and around Senegal. Even though it is our stomping ground and we've built great relationships there, we just can't bring the force of work program that some of these other large companies can. By partnering with CNOOC, we can make sure that FAR has got the, the power and the grunt to be able to offer up great work programs to governments and secure uh, acreage in some of these new areas. When you say there's hot competition from the world's oil majors, what evidence is there for that and who's there? Um, we've already seen BP join Cosmos to the north of Dakar in the Tortu gas field. We've seen CNOOC, um, our partners, join with Impact, a private oil company, to the south of Senegal in the AGC Profond, in some acreage actually that FAR used to hold with Ophir, the London listed company. And we know that there are plenty of other companies lobbying for, for a position in and around Senegal at the moment. So we know that if if there's open acreage, there's going to be very stiff competition. FAR has been successful in West Africa so far, primarily because it is small and nimble and able to act quickly on opportunities that you see. Won't partnering with a large company just slow you down and actually make it harder for FAR to achieve things? Oh, quite the opposite, as you've seen. We have just picked up two new blocks, A2 and A5, offshore in the Gambia as far. But the power of having a big company behind us when we can quickly move to either farm in or to pick up new blocks gives us the confidence to go for it, knowing that there will be uh, that big brother behind us with, with both the, the grunt uh, from a technical point of view, but also just the physical size and the services that they bring. Um, is going to be huge, hugely advantageous for us. And I hope that CNOOC would view the relationship as hugely advantageous for them too, and I know they do, in that they are fully respectful of the fact that FAR has a terrific and long relationship with the governments in the region. And we, we have a good geological knowledge that's been able to help CNOOC get up the knowledge tree a lot faster than they otherwise would have. It hasn't stopped us farming into A2 and A5, in the Gambia and we sincerely hope that if CNOOC are interested in coming with us on A2 and A5 that they will. Um, there's nothing like having the security of a very large company behind you when you're bidding on new projects or looking for new opportunities and certainly for us it's going to I think make us more nimble because we'll be able to go and seek opportunities if we're in any doubt as to whether we think that CNOOC will be interested in coming with us, well, their channels of communication are open for us to discuss that first. And of course, China as a country is a huge investor in Africa generally. Is that a benefit in this relationship? Of course it is. Uh, China has a, a very good embassy in Dakar. They are, the China Inc. is currently investing in building highways, hospitals, uh, the new airport in Dakar. They're really investing uh, heavily in, as you said, Africa, but more specifically in Senegal as well. So that does help with the relationship building.